Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Afreen, and this channel is all about freelancing and making money online. Now, in today's video, I will be sharing with you what I would do if I were starting new on Upwork from scratch, from zero reviews and zero testimonials, and absolutely no portfolio as well. So, if this is something that you are interested in, then continue watching. Now, I know that there are so many people who are looking to start on Upwork every single day, and they have absolutely no idea. what exactly they should do in order to get successful on the platform really really fast so you might already know that i am a top rated plus seller on upwork in less than a year and there were a couple of things that i actually strategically followed that actually fast tracked my growth on the platform so i'm sure that you are looking for some tips and tricks and this video is exactly that now in this video i'll be sharing with you four to five things that are super super important that you need to get sorted if you would like to succeed on the platform and if you would like to get your very first client on the platform in less than a month okay so now let's talk about the very first thing that you need to get out of the way which is creating and optimizing your profile and everything that has to do with your profile on the platform now whenever you join any freelancing platforms obviously you need to create your profile you need to sign up you need to log in and you need to basically show your presence on the platform but you don't need to just create your profile you actually need to optimize your profile well for the platform as well if you are working on fiverr if you are working on upwork or if you are basically working on any freelancing platform or you wish to work on any freelancing platform you need to make sure that you are actually standing out on the platform because let's face it like there are so many freelancers already doing the exact same thing that you want to do so just think for a second and just realize why would someone hire you you're just getting started on the platform you don't have any reviews you don't have any testimonials you basically have nothing to show for on the platform why would the buyers trust you and that is exactly why you need to optimize that profile on the platform so that you are standing out from the crowd So if you would like to optimize your Upwork profile you need to make sure that your profile picture is bomb your headline is super optimized and it actually includes the services that you plan to sell on the platform your description is well written you have your portfolio pieces in place on your profile so that the buyers can easily trust you as well as make sure that you are actually writing your education and experience whatever you have so that buyers can actually connect with you and buyers know that you are a genuine person on the platform and not some shady or scammy person who probably don't know how to do their job so make sure that you are basically including everything that needs to be there on your profile so that it looks complete it looks optimized and actually it initiates trust in buyers because let's face it you don't have any testimonials you haven't done any past job on the platform you need to give them a reason to trust you and your profile should be that reason so make sure that you are optimizing every single section on your profile now if you need a detailed video on how you can optimize your upwork profile make sure that you leave a comment down below and i will probably make a video on that as well once your main profile is optimized the next step is to actually create two specialized profiles now if you have absolutely no idea about specialized profiles or upwork in general so basically upwork actually has this option that you can actually create two separate profiles apart from your main general profile so with that two separate profiles or two specialized profiles you can actually sell multiple services under each profile for example if you are let's say a graphic designer and as a graphic designer you can do so many different things you can do logo design you can do banner design you can design youtube thumbnails you can design pitch decks so with that specialized profiles you can uh, my recommendation is that you actually just specialize the services that you are interested in so for example just select two services so as a designer you can let's say select um uh, pitch deck designing and social media post designing that's what i selected when i started on upwork and then i created two specialized profiles and two separate profiles for those two services so one specialized profile was only for my pitch deck designing service and another specialized profile was for only my social media designing service that actually helped me get more and more clients so with that specialized profile i was able to position my service according to what the client wanted and not being a graphic designer in general and i think that is what completely changed the game for me because with specialized profiles there is a separate heading there is a separate headline there is a separate description as well as there is a separate portfolio as well so when you are bidding for jobs on upwork instead of just using your main profile 
use your specialized profile and that can actually just completely change the game for you because I know for a fact that it completely changed the game for me as well. Try that out and I'm sure that you will get so much more responses than before. And it's not only for graphic designers. If you are a content writer, if you are a video editor, if you are a social media manager, whatever you do, make sure that you are dividing your skill set among multiple services and create specialized profiles according to that. Okay, now once your main profile is created, your two specialized profiles are created, the next step Probably the most, most important step is that you need to build your portfolio. Now, before you run out of this video, let me just first explain why a portfolio is important. Now, I did not have a portfolio when I started on Upwork. Obviously, I have been a freelancer for like so many years, but never in my life I created a portfolio until when I joined Upwork because I knew for a fact that I was new on the platform. Nobody would trust me. Nobody would even contact me. So obviously I had to make sure that my buyers have some faith in me, have some trust in me to actually give me their projects. And this is exactly why I created my portfolio. Now, if you don't have a portfolio, make sure that you create a portfolio according to what I'm going to just say right now. Now, once your two specialized profiles are created, which means that you have identified two services, not skills, services that you have identified the next step that comes is to actually create two separate portfolios do not create one portfolio and have every thing every possible thing in that particular portfolio no you have to create a portfolio that has relevant samples of work there so for example as i already told you that my two specialized services were pitch deck designing and social media post designing and that means that i created two separate portfolios one for pitch deck designing and another one for social media post designing so whenever i was bidding on jobs for pitch deck designing Obviously, I selected my specialized profile for pitch deck designing as well as I included my pitch deck design portfolio. Similarly, when I was bidding for social media post design job, I actually included the specialized profile according to that and I included a relevant portfolio for social media post designing. And I think that's one of the smartest things that you can do on Upwork because people usually bid from their general profile or they have like a very general portfolio if they attach one. But if you are selecting a relevant profile and a relevant portfolio you are immediately standing out from all the other sellers who are bidding for the same job as you and i can guarantee that if your profile is good if your portfolio is good there is no way that the client will not contact you that's for sure so make sure that you spend some time in creating your portfolio now if you're wondering that you don't have any clients to create a portfolio or if you're just starting out don't worry you can still create some mock work some sample work so with graphic designing if you are a designer just select two services and then you know just pick a business and sort of create sample work for them. Obviously, you don't have to share it with them. You can just include that as part of your portfolio. Similarly, if you are a content writer, just pick any topic off the internet and write about that. If you are a video editor, just edit some of the videos online. Just pick any videos for free, download them for free and edit videos for your portfolio. Don't make an excuse that you need a client to build your portfolio. No, 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 that does not happen. But you need to build your portfolio if you would like to get clients. And that's one of the most important things that you can can do if you would like to get your very first client or your next client on Upwork. Now, once your profile is created, once your specialized profiles are created, your portfolios are created, the next step is to actually bid on jobs. Now, if you already have a specialized profile, if you already have a portfolio, you are all set to applying for those jobs and actually, you know, reaching out to the buyers who are ready to hire you. Now, for that purpose, I would highly encourage you to actually write customized or personalized proposals. Now, I never ever copy pasted my proposals. And if I actually share my proposal examples with you, you will notice that no proposals look the same. Obviously, the format is the same. The overall layout is the same, but the wordings are different. The positioning is different. And obviously, the pain point of every client is different as well. So you need to make sure that that every proposal you write is customized. Don't just be in a hurry to apply for like 20, 30 jobs in a day. That should not be the case. Make sure that you're only sending like five to seven proposals, but those proposals should be of high quality so that they can actually inbox you for more of your services. Because if your proposal is amazing and if a buyer is actually reaching out to you, there's a higher possibility that they will hire you over any other freelancer. So make sure that you are customizing every single proposal. Now, if you would like to know my 
my signature method of writing a proposal make sure you leave a comment down below so that i can make a video on that as well okay and the next thing that you can do if you are an absolute beginner on upwork is that you can actually ask testimonials from your past clients outside Upwork. Now, if you are absolutely new to Upwork and if you feel that your profile is incomplete, it doesn't look good, and if you still wanna showcase some testimonials, what you can do is that you can actually request your past clients or your any other clients outside Upwork and you can actually ask them to give you a testimonial on Upwork. Now, when you go to your profile, there is a section on your profile where you can request for a testimonial and obviously make sure that it's like a genuine client that you have worked with before and you're not making a fake client because obviously it won't be approved so make sure that you are requesting for a testimonial from that client so in order to request for that testimonial you just need to fill a form you need to enter their details their email address their name and the, the company name etc and in what capacity you worked with them and then an email will be sent to that client and then they can you know follow the next steps and actually give you a testimonial now don't just overthink about it and wait for them to approve your testimonial and then get started with you know making a portfolio and approaching clients no so even if you don't have any client outside upwork it's perfectly okay to get started on a from scratch just follow what i said and i'm sure that you will get your very first client very very soon now let me tell you what happened with me i actually requested for a testimonial from my client i entered all the details he was a genuine client but unfortunately the testimonial was not accepted and that is perfectly okay that did not stop me from sending proposals and it shouldn't stop you as well so if i can start an upwork from scratch with zero testimonials and zero reviews you can do that too so if you are starting new on upwork make sure that you are creating and optimizing your profile you need to make sure that you are creating two more specialized profiles and obviously optimizing them as well. You should be creating two separate portfolios or multiple portfolios for multiple services and then start sending five to seven proposals, quality proposals every single day in order to get clients. And an optional step is to just, you know, request for a testimonial so that your profile looks complete, but it is not a necessity. So if you don't want to request a testimonial, you can still get started on Upwork and actually get clients. Well, that's it from my end. Thank you so much guys for watching i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and whatever i shared with you in this video is exactly what i did and it helped me became a top rated seller in just like four to five months and a top rated plus seller in less than a year so if i can do it so can you so just get started and i wish you all the best make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to get notified for my future videos thank you so much guys bye bye